Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Let's talk about something different today, very specific. So if you like Kobe shoes, love playing in them, or would at least like to find an alternative, because that resale price is just so dirty. These basketball shoes, I think, are the closest ones that resemble a pair of Kobe's. Nike Kobe's, not his old Adidas shoes. Job finished? Now this is a short list. From what I see, sometimes people are just pushing it, calling this shoe a Kobe, that shoe is also a Kobe. I mean, I get it, it's for the attention, but as a diehard Kobe fan, I pretty much only wore Kobe's during high school. Since grade 10, I worked a part-time job at Ikea, making ice cream for over 30 hours a week with those Kobe's in mind. It was disgustingly expensive back then too. I didn't want my parents buying them for me. Here I'd also like to uh, explain why I always decline to talk about certain shoes that are blatant copycat products. As a Chinese guy myself, I just feel slightly embarrassed because we're known for that crap, right? Like that knockoff Jordan brand is another example. I'm sure they perform well and they're nice people over at the brand. Why don't you just buy a pair of fakes then? Speaking of fakes, my opinion towards Kobe reps is that I think they're totally fine. I don't own a pair myself, but if it makes sense for the budget, it doesn't look too off. More importantly, if the performance is nice, why not? You can absolutely get some. Okay, sorry, back to the topic. I picked five. Two of them are really just fillers, so I can throw in some mid-roll ads. Yeah, for a Kobe alternative, the options are limited, but hopefully, Fingers crossed, we can get more and more Kobe releases so that prices can continue to cool down and everybody can get their Kobe's again by just walking into a store. I'm optimistic that it won't be too far away. All right, enough said, let's get right into it. I want the shoe to be lighter, but I want it to be stable. I want it to be, I want it to have great When I think about the Kobe-like shoes on the market right now, the first one that comes to mind without a question is the Nike Sabrina 2. I mean, you can tell that it has the Kobe 5 DNA all over it, especially the I stay part. Um, if you were to Nike ID your pair, putting some different colors on these panels just make it a Kobe 5, except it fits a lot wider. Unbelievable adjustment made by Nike with this release. Aside from this shoe being more spacious in the toe box, it performs just like a Kobe. Of course, you need great traction. It gives you an excellent core feel with a smooth transition from front to back. It really isn't the stacked up cushion or crazy bouncy type, but given the breathable upper, minimal feeling on feet, these are super light too. It is one of the best guard shoes on the market right now to me. Kobe really started emphasizing the importance I mean, of having lightweight shoes. If you can make sure as light shoe. as possible, um, without compromising. So the, you can see that a priority was to reduce weight as much as possible throughout his signature line. Sabrina 2 comes in at only 370 grams my size. Sometimes you don't even feel like you're wearing anything on the court. Love it or hate it, that was at least what Kobe was trying to accomplish, to continuously lower the weight while not sacrificing the support features. With the Sabrina 2, we gotta mention the Sabrina 1. They're still available. Bigger sizes will be harder to find, but you might be able to snatch some good deals now that the new version has been released. Fall season discounts, back to school sales. We're gonna focus on shoes that are still easily obtainable, by the way. Because let's say the first GT Cut, amazing Kobe-like performer. It was even originally meant to be a Kobe, I believe, but we're many years past the release. And now that shoe goes for four or $500 at least. Sorry, back to the Sabrina one. Unlike the two, it does run narrow. Translucent also is pretty inconsistent on my usual dusty core. So please keep those things in mind. For very wide feet, either avoid it or go half size up. Go for the solid rubber also instead of translucent. Key steps to perfecting your Kobe-like experience on the court. React feels quite nice in the heel actually, so cushion is not bad. After you fully break it in, the overall comfort is there too. Not as good as the two in my personal opinion, but it depends on the timing, your budget, foot shape, or what you see at your local stores and retailers, you know how it goes. Now, in my opinion, next up is the most Kobe-like shoe. Uh, it's not necessarily better than the Sabrina 2, performance-wise, um, I don't think so. But if you really want that Kobe-like feeling on feet in terms of the setup, and more importantly, the fit, because Kobe's typically run narrow. They're not so rifle friendly. A lot of them I had to size up. This one is the Converse BB Trillion CX also known as the Shea Gilchrist Alexander shoe. SGA to me is the best player in the league right now. Converse dropped some really cool mismatching colorways for him. 
there was an all star one and a black and white pair. I've seen someone do a lace swap on this colorway that I have with some red laces. That just gave it a whole new life. Very lightweight. I wouldn't call it elite traction, but you should be fine even on a dusty cord. That was the case for me. Zoom Air makes it a Nike shoe basically. An amazing core feel so your feet can maintain close contact to the floor at all times. That might be the most important thing. The lace cover is completely meaningless by the way. But if you think about it, um, some Kobe shoes. some Kobe models had meaningless accessories too. Like the ankle sleeve on the 7, which I never used. Their BB Shift, which is probably not available anymore, that came out like three years ago. That's also very Kobe-like. Just a super low ride. A true low-cut guard shoe really gives you good speed. They recently made a weird fusion with the BB Shift CX. That's another interesting one, which we'll get to soon. Here on this channel. All right, we're gonna shift over to a completely different brand for the next one. Uh, well, technically Nike owns Converse. From Way of Wade, a drop-in missile Kobe alternative. Um, also a high top, and I think this is their closest one, the 8083 Ultra V2. They did come up with way too many versions of this shoe, I know. There's a regular version, Ultra, Ultra V2, which is this high top one right here, and Ultra V2 Low with a lower cut and less of this stretchy saw collar. Anyways, the high top draws comparisons to the Kobe 9 or Kobe 9 Elite High to be specific. With the little carbon fiber piece cut out around the heel, they have some similarities in the way they look too. Performance wise, safe to say that the 8083 Ultra Traction is almost equally as good as the Kobe 9 Traction. The saw collar actually makes it even more comfortable and it surprisingly doesn't restrict my movements too much. Because I had the snakeskin EXT pair. In that thing, I couldn't even move my feet, let alone play basketball in it. I've talked about this before. Yeah, the 8083 Ultra V2 is my pick from Way of Wade. It's got that upper rigidity and grippy also that a lot of Kobe's have. If you were to say the 8084 Ultra is a Kobe, sure, but kind of pushing it. Last one up, now this one I more so just threw in here, but I've always felt a tiny bit of the Kobe 4, my all-time favorite shoe in this uh, forgotten Nike shoe, the Kyrie 8. Now this is the last Nike Kyrie by the way, not the Kyrie Infinity. Never saw an official release because of the whole drama thing, but part of the reason I wanted to talk about these today I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I want to get another pair too. Is that on the secondary market, like even StockX, these have been going for dirt cheap. I see last sales at around 80 to 90 bucks Canadian. That's below 100 bucks USD after shipping, handling charges and all that. I'm guessing Nike produced a lot of pairs already, but all that stock had essentially gone to waste because they dropped Kyrie right before the release. Um, I got this colorway for about 80 bucks plus all those other fees. Pretty delicious. We didn't even talk about performance. I have a video on it two years ago. Long story short, excellent traction. Responsive, yet low to the ground shoe, giving you a fairly decent core feel. Material, kind of cheap and plasticky. They run narrow and snug too. I kind of feel like the Kobe 7, so I had to size up. Half size up, or in some cases, you can even go full size up. Yeah, go look at the prices. Don't tell anybody else, because bids are already getting higher for some colorways. Oh, I could think of another one. Also with a drop-in missile, the Puma Stewie 3. Uh, I believe this was their first ever shoe with a removable missile. Um, I've only started playing in these recently. It's coming along nicely. Traction, material, and fit, these are all starting to break in nicely. So potentially a good choice too. I actually had low expectations for this one, not gonna lie. With quite a few more Kobe releases coming up this year, uh, of course you can always try and get the actual Kobe's or pay a little bit resale. For the sake of this video, it's just a list that has some great alternatives for us as consumers, whatever makes sense for the budget, you know. So that concludes this list for the best Kobe-like basketball shoes available based on my personal opinion and personal experience playing in them. The best choice currently, Sabrina 2. Please let me know if I missed out on any other good ones in the comments. I am piling up an all-time list, like overall from all brands, not just Kobe-like. Stay tuned for that coming up, should be fun. Also, I'm very hopeful that I can start bringing more Kobe releases to you here on this channel. 
I'm just so sick and tired of the sneaker resale thing. But if you're interested, if they're starting to make sense, I like how Nike is increasing stock size one step at a time. Let's make that happen. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.